Hi there, Antoine here for some architecture and welcome back to the channel for quite a special video today because we're building the so-called uh, Royal Ballroom and as you know, I'm a big fan of Royal architecture, especially from the 18th and 19th century and as you remember in the French Palace video um, I downloaded some custom content created by the talented Felixander and now I decided to build something a bit different and I was looking for ideas and on Instagram I found pictures of some beautiful palaces that are located in Russia in St. Petersburg and I had the idea of building a ballroom because I've never done that before and I thought it could be a bit challenging a bit different from what I usually do so that's why I decided to build this ballroom so it is actually inspired by those Russian palaces have seen and also um, by French interior but to be honest it is not um, a special style here in this room it's a mix of all the beautiful objects that I have in my game so there are custom content but also in-game content um, Max's content if I can say and yeah, I'm just in love with the result. So of course, as you can see, I'm building this in Windenburg on a 64 by 64 lot. And it can't be part of a house of, or of a larger palace because it takes like almost the half of the lot. So of course, it's not possible to include it in a larger building, but it just... Uh, I mean, I just build it as a room, not as a entire property or estate. So, yeah, it's not really usable or playable. It's just for decoration, I would say. Or, for example, it could be a good idea if you're building um, a cinema studio. It could be used for this. But, as you know, I cannot um, publish this particular... Um, building because uh, there's some content that are created by Felix Center and it doesn't tell us me and other people who own the um, custom content to share this custom content for free because you have to pay a subscription on Patreon to get this special um, custom content and of course I'm not uh, allowed to share this free with you so if you want to support Felixander you can um, give him some money from 1 to 20 euros I believe or dollars I don't remember on patreon and you will have an access to all this fantastical stuff so really if you're into 18th century architecture or a Rococo or Versa inspired architecture it would be fantastic idea I believe to support him because is one of the only custom content creator that who sorry um, creates such content and it's not the only one but almost the only one because the other one I use here uh, is Jim07 that you can find on Modder Sims so most of the chandeliers that you can see here are made by him and I also did some conversions from the Sim 3. Um, you will see a little bit later the um, tables that I'm using and the chairs are also made by him. And yeah, so this ballroom is really, really large. As you can see, um, there's a big dancing area with some um, yeah, chairs and there's a special uh, area with some sofas and I was thinking it would be just dedicated to the um, royal family if they attend to a ball here in this room and of course uh, at one of the extremities of the room there is a throne that you can see a little bit later in the video so the throne um, yeah I just like the throne actually um, and I didn't want it to be really on the floor like every everybody else. I just want it to be a bit higher than the rest of the um, of the floor. And yeah, in the Sims 4 there isn't this some level uh, foundation that there was in the Sims 3. That's why I decided 
to find a little trick to pop this turn a bit higher. Um, so I take those um, shells we can find uh, in the game and I just made them bigger and yeah I put like two or three shelves and put the throne on it but indeed it's not playable because um, it is higher than a normal chair I don't really know how to explain this but I think you get the idea <laughs> so yeah once again this room is more like a decorative room i would say so yeah um the chandeliers uh, as you will see later not the one that i'm putting right now and those are actually not chandeliers they're lamps but they have a special name um in french it's candelabre and i believe in english it's candelabra but i'm not sure so let's call them candelabra and yeah, so the chandelier, um, there are those chandeliers that I'm putting right now, made by Felix Sander, but um, I thought they're rather meant for a small interior, they're not so massive, that's why I decided to use the one that we can find in the game, in a golden color, and I think even if it looks a bit more medieval, um, that it would quite fit uh, the interior and I believe it just looks luxurious and that's what I wanted. Um, yeah, I think I told you pretty much everything about this house, which is actually not a house, about this particular room. And yeah, so as always, if you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also follow me and support me on Patreon if you like the channel, it would be Really a big help and I will see you next time. Bye.
nostri occhi. 